I greet this day with a love in my heart. Welcome to Indian Stock Mind Dynamics. Today, the tip of the day is Facets of Memory Part 7. I'm going to discuss about kinesthetic memory. Well, today, 13th June 2019, a awesome day is ahead. Let's make it very beautiful. Well, the same day, 13th June in 1290, Firuz Shah captured a throne of Delhi and called himself Sultan Jalaluddin Khalji. Well, in the same day, 13th June in 1931, our Gandhi to live in a garage amongst the poor people in London. You know what is Garrett? It is a Arctic semi-finished uh, rooms in the top of the house, roof of the house, let's say. Okay, he lived in such a condition. It's very pathetic to know. On the same day, 13th June, in 1966, it's more than 60 people feared dead in the train accident. A two train, a suburban train of Bombay collide each other. And it was also pathetic to know. Well, today, 13th June 2019, is it considered to be National Career Nursing Assistance Day. Well, now I'm coming to my subject phases of memory and these phases of memory we are seeing the first is visual that is visual memory second is auditory auditory memory and today we are going to see kinesthetic memory that's about the feelings now visual is as important as among every aspect of these phases because it's take over more than 40 percentage of our memory input because whatever we see consciously and unconsciously stores with us color picture image whatever it may be and we are all prone to attracted to seeing things and get stored information that's why small children or even amongst us are still remember when we see the movie in action with the color and uh, pictorial representations so that's a visual aspect and yesterday i mean not yesterday day for study when i discussed about auditory auditory is as important but it took only 20 percent and 80 percent what we hear and how we feel it i told you so that takes another 30 percent but now kinesthetic is again take over 30 percent what is this? It is a tactile learning, one of the system which uh, normally we learn from our approach to things like not seeing or reading or uh, understanding or sitting in a lecture hall or uh, seeing any visual. It's only bodily movement and a physical act. To give an example, if I want to teach you cooking, you have to come into the kitchen with the ingredients among along with that and you'll be seeing that is visual and hearing the inputs and again started cooking so this is action oriented similar to the sports if you want to learn the tai chi you have to see the movements the slow movements of each and every a beautiful moments in the tai chi they teach and in the sports also we get involved in your physical act and while you're driving a car first we see things like a steering and a clutch everything after certain practice what happens without your 
conscious effort, our hands move to the where the clutch is there and the, the leg and gear where you have to put all that is there, you know. So it all depends that the kinesthetic memory works here. Now why should I talk about this kinesthetic memory to you today? Because this is one of the important ingredient of our memory which we normally you know consciously do it and stored it in the part of the memory. Particularly for students who are struggling to sit in a place, they don't want to sit, they want to be writing here and there, and they don't study well. And when you sit and start writing, it's a kinesthetic action. Writing is a brain work I've been telling you. And the brain work is nothing but the kinesthetic of the hands movement. I always suggest people want to have this kinesthetic effort. You can practice if you are a right-hander, you can start practicing in left hand. And if you are a left hander, you can practice with the right hand. Certain things like your name, your signature, are the important aspect of whatever you stored in memory can be recalled in the left hand if you are a right hander. And vice versa in the right hander if you are a left hander. These things will enable you to imprint a strong a forte in the memory so that you will understand and keep it in memory it helps you when you do it particularly when you do mathematics or engineering drawings we need a scale we need a, a big sheets of paper and compass so many other uh, inputs like uh, uh, tools to do that that is what happens you sit and you are practicing it with that your mind visual of course you are here the information and now we are doing it with the kinesthetic way, that is with the hands. Now this aspect, to give you a simple idea, whatever you studied, the important the key and the components words can be seen writing. While writing, say it auditory. Seeing while writing, that is visual memory, say it or utter it while writing, writing it. It's auditory while practicing. I am not telling you to practice the same thing in examination hall, but at home, when you are doing or preparing for some presentation for the board meeting or whatever it may be, you just have it. And this system helps you, your uh, memory to the core so that you can bring out or you know, recall it or revive it at a very easy way. So, whenever you are studying, key and the component words. Key words are important words. What is a component words? Component words are supportive words. For example, verb. The verb is very important. If I give you an example, if you have a sheet of paper, you make a note of it. If I say this word, I shall reach and maintain alpha waves of mental state and thereby generate creative ideas most of the time. If this is a sentence, then you are only pointing out or jotting down the key and the common sports. I shall don't write it. I shall reach you can write. Maintain you can write. Alpha you can write. Waves you can write, mental state you can write, generate you can write, okay, and time, either creative ideas and time you can write. These are the words. But among these words, when you're writing vertically one below the other, your mind visualizes the important aspect of the keywords. These keywords, what are the keywords here? Alpha is a keyword and creative ideas is the keyword. When you reach alpha, you get the creative ideas. This is the key components. But other component words are verbs that is supporting system. If you have that idea, your kinesthetic works well. So we are going to jot it down. And of course, 
I have a lot of videos you have seen how to memorize those things and recall it. I shall reach and maintain all the waves of mental state and thereby generate creative ideas most of the time. Well, you have done that. At the same time, the children, small children, if you observe them, they in fact combine combination of uh, all these three they take it. Visual, they see the mummy. Auditory, they talk, blah blah. Kinesthetic, when you touch them, they stop crying, or sometimes they what they wanted by way of crying they ask because they know how to communicate. The same thing is applicable even now with our conscious effort of storing information in our brain. So, kinesthetic is a feeling. The second aspect of the kinesthetic is, as I told you, it's connected to emotion, it's connected to heart, it's a right brain activity, it is connected vice versa, and you feel heart in the sense Whenever the emotion is aroused, it's connected to kinesthetic. Okay? It's a feeling again. So, students particularly, the students who don't study, the reason behind them is they are not kinesthetically approached. That means parents would have scolded, school teacher would have scolded, or somebody would have degraded them because they don't study. These things impressed or imprinted in the brain they just want away from this so what i say to the viewer is if you have a children around you like that pat them on the back for every aspiration and tell them you are too good you can improve you can pass this exam this time you can study well you can do much better like that you can appreciate by tapping them it's a kinesthetic approach this approach definitely make everybody to study well even adult if somebody says you are too good in what you want to say, we feel little elated, no? So this is a fact which I want to tell you today. Last but not the least, today is the day to learn the secret of life. The secret of life, life is how we are understanding the facets of memory. That is visual memory, auditory memory and kinesthetic memory. If you combine all these three, we are too good at our memory and nobody can shake in this world and you are king of your land. Thanks for watching. Please be with me. I'll catch you later with other videos. Like it, share it and subscribe it. And press the icon button for uh, notification.